wanted to talk about procrastination. A lot of us have that problem as writers. And I want to begin by saying we who are writers have been given a gift. It is not of our own. It is from God, and it is His. He has entrusted us with it for a short time. What will you do with it? Um, in the Bible, Jesus talked about the parable of the two sons. He said, what do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered, but later he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir, but he did not go. Which of the two did what the father wanted? Think about how many people in the Bible God told to do things, and they did the job. And by the way, I forgot to tell you, I titled it, Get Her Done. <laughs> what if Noah, what would it be today if Noah never built the boat? Um, if Moses didn't go um, set the, help get the uh, um, Jews out of Egypt, if David hadn't killed Goliath, if Esther hadn't gone to the king, if Mary had told the angel, I'll think about it, if uh, Paul had, you know, done the, the mass controlled experience but then didn't get on his way or write all the epistles that he did, or even more so, what if God said we need a savior and Jesus said, I'll get to it in a little while, you know? Yeah. Um, the biggest story we have of somebody saying no and learning a lesson was, Jonah and um, getting swallowed by the whale. How big of a picture do we need of what to do when God tells us to do something? Over and over again in the Bible, we learned there are blessings from, with obedience and cursing for disobedience. And yet some of us still do things our way. We write things and ask God to bless it instead of doing the writings that he tells us to do. My idea of salvation is like getting on a bike. This is an illustration God's given me. Getting on the bike is believing and trusting God for our salvation. It's a bicycle built for two. And we're on the back. And too many times, it, it, that's what to me, the picture of working on our salvation is getting in tune with the pedaling. Jesus is doing the steering, and we're trying to get in tune and following him, pedaling. Sometimes we drag our feet. Sometimes we're trying to put on the brakes. The steering in the back doesn't do anything for those that are riding in the back. Only the front can steer. We just have to trust God and keep in motion with the pedaling that he's given us. Uh, some of us even try to, I've said this many times, try to pay too much attention on where we're going instead of the work at hand. And we stick our head out and could get hit by a telephone pole or something instead of keeping going in, in, in the direction that he wants us to go. Today I was reading my Jesus Calling. This is a devotional that just came out by Sarah Young. I don't know if you've all heard it. But it was no coincidence that today's word um, is the solution for all those that procrastinate. And let me just tell you, the Lord gave me a definition of procrastination, if you have been given the gift of writing, and I know I've said this before in here, and what you're doing is God's work, and if you're procrastinating and wasting time, you're not wasting your time, you're wasting God's time. This is what it says today in uh, Jesus Calling. Let me prepare you for the day that stretches out before you. I know exactly what this day will contain, whereas you have only vague ideas about it. You would like to see a map showing all the twists and turns of your journey. You'd feel more prepared if you could somehow visualize what is on the road ahead. However, there's a better way to be prepared for whatever you will encounter today. Spend quality time with me. I will not show you what is on the road ahead, but I will thoroughly equip you for the journey. My living presence is your companion each step of the way. Stay in continual communication with me, whispering my name whenever you need to redirect your thoughts. Thus, you can walk through the day with your focus on me. My abiding presence is the best road map available. So if you are stuck in your writing, spend time with God, and then get it done.